Hi, it's Cara. Um, once again, I'm not dressed up for you. I'm literally in my gym clothes because I'm going to go to Pilates soon. Um, but I didn't know when I was going to get a chance to film this video because I've got a lot on my plate this week. So I thought I might just give you a little, little bit of book haul for February. that I picked up in the month of February. There's not a whole heap. I had a lot like on order and they just haven't come in. So I guess those are carrying through to March in which I was theoretically going to have a teeny tiny before. Um, but maybe not depending on if they all come in. There's like 10 things, nine things to chat about with you today. Let's go through it really quick because I've got other stuff to do but I just want to chat to you about these. So the first one is a History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. This is Shay Earnshaw's first adult novel and it's a cult, sorry, a cult novel, I believe. Um, and we're following Travis, who, oh no, we're not following Travis. I think Travis is the cult leader. He's really good at finding missing people. Um, oh no, maybe he's the main character. And he gets led to this it may be multiple perspective do I know much about this other than that it is um about a cult no um but I'm really excited to read this and I'm hoping I can get to it sooner rather than later it's not super long it's only like 350 pages um so and I oh what I was going to show you was under the cover look how stunning that is it's got all these little um knickknacks um, which I'm guessing will tie into the story in some way. But yes, I am really excited to read this. Um, I'm hoping to get to it sooner rather than later. Um, and I have enjoyed Shay Anshul's things, but I always felt like they didn't go far enough. And hopefully in an adult setting, like in an adult context, that could happen. So I'm excited about this. I have heard mixed things, but... Um, another thing I picked up, which technically apparently hasn't released yet, but it was available really really early at Demix um, and across all of Australia it just wasn't embargoed and arrived super early everywhere um, and that is Gallant by V.E. Schwab this is the newest V.E. Schwab it's pretty short it's only like 300 pages with lots of illustrations and stuff um, so I'm planning on reading this in March we'll see if I get to it um, I think I could zoom through it in like a day so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. <laughs> this does look really fun, but it's also like dark. It's about a house, a house of secrets. And I think it's got like missing people. It's a ghosty house story. I'm excited about it. I think it has great potential. I have heard mixed things about this too, I think, from people who got ARCs. But I'm really curious about it. A sequel I picked up which has just dropped but I did just read book three in February. This is The Astonishing Chronicles of Oscar from Elsewhere by Jacqueline Moriarty which is the fourth Kingdom and Empires book. This one obviously follows Oscar um, who I think comes from another world. I think is kind of the premise. There is not much of a synopsis here. I think we share some of the characters from the last book like I think Esther and Imogen um, and the other sister, Astrid, will be in this book, um, maybe Bronte as well, but yeah, it says we're following Oscar and Imogen, I think, yes, as point of view characters, whereas we were following Esther's point of view in the last book. So um, this series is like a comedic middle grade adventure story. They're so good. The first one is the Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstream. Um, and just, they're so good. <laughs> These are the Australian covers, which have illustrations from Kelly Canby, but I know the UK American covers have illustrations from um, Carl James Malvid. So, yeah. We also have The Girl from the Sea by, uh, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O, which has been described as a, like, um, retelling of a, classic Korean legend in the style of like spirited away so 
um, obviously it's giving me Ponyo vibes because it's under the ocean. But um, this is, yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I, I just love the cover. Including, the other cover is also gorgeous. Both covers are stunning. Um, this just gives me really good vibes and I hope I like it. Basically, I think the main character, her community believes that the sea god has cursed them. So they throw a maiden into the sea each year. And her brother's um, fiancé is the one destined to be thrown in. And so she, like, sacrifices herself instead. Um, I think it's got a lot of really good potential. Um, and I'm excited to read it. A fantasy I picked up is The Justice of Kings by Richard Swan. This is about a king's justice. So, like, a detective... Um, judge and executioner all in one um and i believe it's told from the point of view of the girl who is his assistant as a teenager um i'm really i've heard really good things about the way this is written um and i'm excited to try it out it is first in a series the series is called empire of the wolf another sequel i picked up because i read an installment in the month um, of February and this is What Abigail Did That Summer by Ben Aranovich which is a novella in the um, Rivers of London series which means it doesn't have an audiobook on uh, my library it probably does have an audiobook just not my, li my library doesn't have it um, so I'm gonna read this with my eyes and hopefully read it sometime soon so I can move on to the next novella and then the next book um, this one follows obviously Abigail who is um, the main character in the main series cousin so yeah this series is all like the main series is a detective series but he's a magical detective and he deals with magic crimes um and it's getting ramping up so much at this point in the series and this is like a little side shoot off following his cousin as she like is like amateur detectiving <laughs> i think it's gonna be really cute um i also picked up library of the dead which was blurbed by ben Aranovich, um because this is a another like magic but in the city crimey kind of thing um sh the main character ropa is a ghost talker and she carries the messages from the dead to the living in edinburgh and then she's got to solve um some kind of issue i this has been out for a while this is the library of the dead it's book one um book two just dropped and the title is like um our lady of M M mysterious ailments or something like that and that sounds stunning like that title solved me so i'd seen this around and i'd been like contemplating picking up the audiobook but that sold me so i bought myself a coffee and i'm gonna try and read it soon it looks really good. And finally, my January and February books from the um, LGBTQ Plus Reads subscription came in. This is them here. So the first one is The Kindred by Alicia Dow. Um, this is a YA sci-fi. And I actually do not know the plot of this that much at all. Um, I read uh, Alicia Dow's last book, which I believe is set in the same universe, but following totally different characters. Obviously, it's a sci-fi, so there's a lot of room for scope. Um, and this galactic kingdom has mind pairings, kindred mind pairings, created to ensure each and every person will be seen and heard no matter how rich or poor. And then the royal family is assassinated? I haven't heard that much about this. I enjoyed um, the first book, which is... What was the first book called? I am blanking. What was the first book called? Uh, Sound of Stars, which was a, like, aliens come to Earth, first contact kind of story, but, like, a little bit into it. Um, I think she was born during, like, or she was a child when the, um, alien invasion took place, and he's an alien, and they're, like, she's part of the resistance. Um, so this is obviously set on another planet, I'm gonna guess, and in a totally sci-fi situation, but, uh, yeah, I am so excited. I... I enjoyed The Sound of Stars, so I'm excited to see how this plays out. And the other book I picked up was from them, um, that Dahlia helped pick out for me, Dahlia Adler, um, who runs the LGBTQ subscription service. 
she's amazing she picks up the best things um and this is the verifiers by jane peck which is a literary thriller i believe like it's a literary fiction but with a thriller aspect we're following um claudia lynn who is uh trying to come out from like or deal with her family's like expectations of her to be like a model minority um obviously she's chinese um chinese american and she has been recruited by an online dating detective agency uh and things are going on and so it she's a mystery reader she wrote her senior thesis on jane austen and a client goes missing so she starts digging into things so yeah like it's a literary thriller literary mystery um it's quite short it's oh it's not that short the pages are pretty tiny uh it's like 350 pages um but like this seems right up my alley i love a good like interesting mystery thriller like i want it to be intriguing in like not just a standard mystery thriller so i feel like this is totally up my alley i'm hopeful to read it sooner rather than later which i say about all of these things anyway thank you so much for watching this little video um where i tell you about all the things i pulled this month we'll see what next month looks like hey um anyway i've got things to do gotta rush on with my day but thank you so much for watching this little video and i'll see you soon with another one. Bye!